Hello, everyone, again, and welcome. We start in three minutes. Melissa Armo is here with us today. Uh, we start promptly in three minutes, and uh, you can call uh, Big Papa Money. You can call him Big Papa, Big Papa Money or just Big Papa. <laughs> I love it. All right, everyone. Thank you and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. Again, we start promptly in just now, three minutes. It's 427. This is Kevin. We start in three minutes. Thank you again, everyone, and welcome. And that was a little snippet of uh, Jerry Lee Lewis for uh, those of you who are old enough to remember that. Uh, probably nobody other than me. Uh, but we do want to thank each and every one of you. Again, we start promptly in just two minutes. Start time in two minutes. Kathy, you're not that old. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, everyone, thank you and welcome. We start in two minutes. Last folks to join, Sat123, Mark S., Jess, Turbo, and others. This is Online Trader Central. Kathy, now you need to be truthful. Uh, you know, you, the truth is very important. Just remember uh, the Jack and Tom. Uh, Jack you and want Tom. answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. Yeah, enough of this uh, foolishness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Online Trader Central. Melissa is here with us today, and we start promptly in just one minute. We do see the folks are still registering, hitting the, uh, the server, but uh, we're going to start on time. We do try to start on time. We do try to end on time. Uh, last uh, folks to join, uh, Russ and John D., thank you and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. Again, we welcome each and every one of you. This is 429 Eastern Time here in the Boston area. We do try to start on time, so let me see if I can round up the percussion. Percussion section. Okay, and to the trumpet. To the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Please put your hands together and welcome from the stock tours. Please welcome your host and presenter for today, Melissa. Thank you so much, Kevin, and welcome, everyone. Welcome to today's lecture. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, LLC. And today is a very exciting lecture because it's one of my favorite topics, which is how to trade on the side of institutional money. This is something that a lot of people, I think, want to know about and think about vaguely, but don't really talk about amongst their friends or other traders because they're really not sure how to read this. So we're going to do a lot of teaching today. I have a lot of charts in this uh, lecture. So let's get started. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website at thestockswish.com or feel free to email me after the lecture at melissa at thestockswish.com as well. So really ask yourself, and I'm sure there's a reason that you're here today, do you want a career where you can earn more money? You might be trading right now full-time, you might be trading part-time, you might not be trading at all, but you actually want to investigate it because you're interested in doing something where you can earn more money. And ultimately, it's really about change. Going into the fall of this year, 2013, coming into the beginning of 2014, many, many people are thinking about making changes in their life. And you've got to sometimes change what you were doing if you want to see improvements to your trading or your life. And really, if not now, when? It's about change. If you continue doing the same actions, then you can only expect the same results. If you want different results in your trading and your life, then change is required. And not only that, it is necessary. Okay, so if you want to be more successful in the market and in life, then learning a trading system that will bring about the financial results you've been looking for is really what you have to focus on. So change what you're doing, and the sooner the better. So let's start by looking at things from a brand new vantage point, like this guy here. He's way up in the sky. He's 
floating on a cloud. He's looking at things, he's looking down at the earth, and he's looking from a new vantage point. A vantage point that is advantageous to spot opportunity and opportunity in the market. Opportunity can translate into money if you know what to do with it in the stock market. So really it's about a foundation and which I have found in my own personal training and now I'm teaching to people and this is what we're going to talk about today. It's the cornerstone of success in the market. One of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success and longevity is consistency. And I think many people here probably already know that, but I'm here to remind you today. Because without this, it is hard to stay in the market for any length of time. In order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts, what's really going to pay you. If you've been dreaming of being successful in the market for years, but the success has eluded you, then stop and consider why. It's time to elevate yourself and your trading to a brand new level. And what better time to do it than going into the fall of this year? This requires a deeper understanding, a better comprehension, and an overall wider perspective of what makes individual success possible for a trader or investor in the stock market. Trader Thomas is saying he can't see anything, Kathy and Kevin. Can everyone see my pointer here? Can everyone see this pointer? Let me know. Trader Thomas is having some some hot com issues it looks like if you can if you can let me know so this is really the number one way to trade that we're going to talk about today and is following the institutional money this lecture has a very powerful message the message is you've got to become a specialist in reading institutional money in order to become successful in the market you have to become a specialist Okay, a specialist in reading institutional money or what I call power money in the market. This is the name I just made up. It, this is power money and this brings momentum and opportunity for you as an individual to trade. Every trader on every level must learn this skill set. It can be acquired with education and you've got to learn what to look for. Institutional money is in charge. A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market, stocks, and creates momentum and also sets trends and charts. When you are looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of the power in a stock. You want to be on the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge in the market and stocks at all times. I must be clear about this. At all times. Even if you think it's not, it is. And I'm going to show you some charts today. It's in charge always, 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 always. I put a chart here of the market in today's lecture. This is actually a current chart clipping from today. I have been reading the market bullishly for months. And how have I been able to do that? Even this big red topping tail we had here, the pull-in we had here, this toppiness we had here, which we're going to break over, by the way. All along the way here, I've been reading this and calling the market bullishly because I'm reading what's happening in the gaps. We are higher this year in the overall market. And I, and I had a conversation with someone yesterday that made me want to talk about this in detail today about the QQQs. Because he said to me, this is a friend, he said, you know what? We've been running up so long now, we're just, we're extended. I plop this bigger picture here of the market for you to see that we are not extended. Yes, I do do intraday trades, John, and we're going to talk about that. We are going to talk about that. So we're not extended here in the queues. We're not extended in the market. We've barely just begun. Do you see this here? We have barely just begun. In fact, this rallied up here, based out and rested. Rallied up here, we rested and rested and rested. We ran up here. This is 2012. Came down, rested, rallied up and came down and rested, 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 rested and pushing higher. Every time we rest in here. Every time we rest in here, we are getting ready to make another leg up. So we're not extended. Okay, this, here's an example of extension. This, doom, it's all the way up here. This was back in 2000, and 2000, 1999, 2000. The market went almost vertical straight up. This is extended, okay? This is not extended. This is actually a nice, consistent move going forward. And what is making this? This is power money. This is power money that's buying in the market. So when you see things like this, if you're thinking the market's coming in or it's toppy, they are pull-ins. That's it. We're going to break over this area. And no one should be shorting anything in here. Okay, We are higher this year until otherwise noted, unless we would change our trend, which we are not doing right now. And so 
how am I reading all of this? I'm reading the institutional money that's coming into the market, and it's moving so nice and so smooth and so clean. This gap up that happened here back in July is holding incredibly well. And we were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 days up in the market, and the market gapped up, and this gap is beautiful and is going to hold. Now, how do I know all of this? Because I read gaps. So this is what we're going to talk about today. And this is institutional buying that came in, that came in right here and it's holding. And we're going to, it's going to move us higher. So you have to understand what's going on in the overall trend of the footprints of money. Read the footprints of institutional money. They're in the market. John's asking about intraday trading. Yes, that's what I do. I'm a day trader. However, I'm reading the overall trend in the market and in stocks. I'm trading to help assist me to make a lot of money as a day trader. This is how you do it. You have to look at the bigger picture. So how can you read the side of power? Where is it located? To get paid in any regard, intraday, day trading, swing trading, core trading, you've got to be with the side of the institution. You have to be with the side of the power. And how do you read it in gaps? Gaps are a secret ingredient in charts that many, many people overlook. And yet they hold a lot of significance. Gaps make the trend. They set the trend. And they continue the trend in stocks and the market. They set the trend because they are definitive and demonstrative change and show a price in what is called an event. Gaps are a real show of the power of money. Gaps either continue the trend or, in fact, change the trend, which is very important, too. If you follow the gap, you'll be following the power of money. So it's about institutional money, which happens in gaps. There is only one thing and one thing only that can move the direction of a stock, money. Not a little money, but a lot of money, or what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. Power money is in charge of the market. Trends are set and moved by the power money people, of which there is a lot of in the market. There is a lot of these people in the market. And if all of us in here and everybody, everybody in every trading room got together, and if we all traded and I called a trade and we all took it together, we wouldn't move anything a boop. This power money is what moves everything. And no amount of individual traders will ever move anything like this power money. And that's why you got to trade with it. And that's why you can trade with it and make money. Even as one person, even if we all got together, it wouldn't matter. The amazing thing is that it's negative as traders and analysts talk about the power money people. They are the reason that one individual, that you and me, can be successful in the market. And I am so grateful for them. Because if it wouldn't be for them, I wouldn't be able to see things clearly like I do. Trade accurately like I do and make money consistently like I do. It is because of this, because it's so clear to see this, that we're able to make money. It's in the gaps. Gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are what I call nothing gaps. And some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. And we're going to go over some examples. The most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. And that's what happened in the bullish gap that happened in the market in July. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when a change is occurring. So gaps have to be qualified by using a checklist. This is how I do it. I go through a checklist in the morning. I have a rating system. I look at 26 points, and this checklist tells me what to look for in the price of the stock and the gap. So it's about learning a way to read the side of power and the momentum. Here's an example of Facebook. I've been talking about Facebook for a while now, ever since it fell off the planet when the IPO came out. And now again here, it's been very interesting to discuss even in the last two months. Facebook, back here in July, closed, this is the day before the earnings on July 24th, at 26.51. The earnings came out overnight and the next morning it opened up here at 33.54. This is on July 25th. This is a bullish gap. This is a display of number one power, money, and momentum. There is nothing, 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 nothing but power money that can make a stock be down here at 26.50 and open up here and hold beautifully by the way 30 at 33.54 which this gap is going to hold. So here's an example of power money. Power money that has now changed the trend in the direction of the stock, and the stock's going to break out to all-time highs probably before the end of the year. It's already gotten over the IPO price, which was 42.05. This is an example of institutional buying. What would make this? Power money. So what do you do as an intraday trader? You buy it. You buy the gap. You buy it right there. Boop. 
You buy it on the day, you buy it as a swing trade, you buy it as a core trade. Look at how beautifully it's carried up through here. And even when it came down in here, it held, held and followed on through. And all this is going on and it's fantastic. This is momentum. This is how you make money and make money easily, by the way. So you've got to learn what institutional buying looks like. Here's an example of a charted and uptrend. This is TWC. Look at the nice fat green bars of this stock in an uptrend. From this first gap that happened back here in June, June 14th, this is a $10 bar. $10. Now this stock does move pretty, pretty big. This is over $100 price point. But still, this is a humongous bar for this chart. It's a gap up. It's a beautiful gap up and a buy setup followed on through. Low of this bar is 95.79. From this date here in June 14th, all the way up through here, the stock is now about at 121. So the stock has moved $25 higher, like 25% of its price grew basically overnight in a month. Look, this is institutional buying. This is a gap. This is a gap. This is a gap. Beautiful. Okay, this is what institutional buying looks like. What is not institutional buying? Well, let's look at an example. ANF. ANF gap down here. This was back in August. I watched it. It was actually a nice gap that I wanted to short. Didn't set up right. What happened? It opened down here. This is on August 22nd at $37. Ran up here. $2. Now, it's a $2 bar. Yes, I see the $2 bar, but this is not institutional buying. What's going on here when this thing is happening? It's short covering. People that are short the stock, that have been short the stock in A&F, that are covering the short here. They are taking profits. It's profit taking from the short side. This is not institutional buying, even though it's a green bar. Now, how do I know this? Because I know how to read gaps. And what happened? Look at a split within two, three days afterwards. It didn't go over this high. Dropped down, broke the gap, fell on through, and down here in the low, it's like broken $35 since then. And the open here was 37 So do you see the follow through? This is not institutional buying. This is short covering. And you have to understand what the difference, what it looks like. So learn what institutional selling looks like. Selling meaning people selling out of the stock or actually even shorting the stock. Institutions are allowed to take positions short. Here's another great example of something that is falling off a cliff. This is Jack. Jack the night before the gap up here closed at 1148. Literally, the next day it closed after the gap closed on this day, this humongous bar, the biggest bar in the chart, closed at $6.90 and 90 some cents. In this month's time, the stock is worth less than $5 now, like around five bucks. All of this happening just from the gap. Here's an example of institutional selling and shorting. Exiting the stock, people that are long and actual entry short to move it down. Here's an example of institutional selling. And you see the way it's just bled and fallen off the face of the planet. So here's an example. What is not institutional selling? Another big, gymungous red bar, but this is Qcore. This is not institutional selling. How do I know? I'm reading the gaps. Here's where the stock closed here. This is back in June at 36.71. The stock gapped up, gapped up here and opened at $50. It gapped up 14 bucks overnight. Had a big red bar, but this is not institutional selling. This is just profit taking from the stock being in an uptrend. And guess what happens? Within less than a month, the stock gaps up again. So where it opened here on this gap, which is a bullish gap and a good one, by the way, it just went right on the day. So you don't trade it as a buy. You could have bought this for a swing or core trade. It's a good gap. And it carries on through up here. And all of a sudden now it gaps up here to 59.75. And look at it, it's at all time highs. It ran over 75 bucks almost. So, you know, ultimately, all in all, you can see here how it looks and what everything sets up as. This is not institutional selling. John is saying institutions cannot afford to be in $11 stocks. That's false. Absolutely false. They are buying these things. They are selling these things. They are shorting these things. I don't know where you heard of that. That's false. Okay? You want to be with institutions, and they are trading stocks like this at these price points. $8 price points, $10 price points, $60 price points, all over the place. They're doing it. 
So the key to large profits and ultimate trading success is in trading with power and money. Institutions are want to make money any way they can. It doesn't matter the price of the stock. They want to make money, whatever it is. Something that moves, something that's momentum, something they want to get in, whatever reason they want to get in it. I've seen institutions moving stocks that are at a $3 price point. Okay? Pharma is a lot of pharmas, actually, at those price points when they fall off the cliff. So think intellectually. This is about using your brain and recognize that institutions can help you make money. They are not against you, okay? They are there to assist you to help you make money if you know how to read them. The thing is that many, many people don't, but if you want to make real money in the market, you've got to learn how to read it. So learn to trade a system that can read the side of institutional power. And focus on the right information. The most valuable information for people to trade can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable. Reading power money when it sets up will help give you conviction to trade, and this helps you take risk. Seeing when and where the power money positions are getting in is like finding a gold mine. Okay, because you want to see it and get in it before it has the momentum and moves. Seeing gaps clearly and how they are creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum is a very powerful way to trade. You can use this information to enter trades yourself so you can get paid along with the power money moves that are happening in the market. Because once they press the button, it's go time. As soon as they press the power button, like when Facebook was bought, that's it. It's go time. Get in. Boom. Go time. Jay is asking me what are the fundamentals behind these gaps. I don't read fundamentals and gaps. You can do that. However, I'm focusing on the price. The danger if you want to read fundamentals is that you don't focus on the price and you focus too much on the fundamentals. And if they don't jive, then you'll make an incorrect decision. At the end of the day, you've got to read what's going on real time or the price of a chart of a stock based on the technicals, which is how I trade. If the fundamentals assist you in getting conviction, read them, do them, trade with it. But if you make a decision based on fundamentals and it goes against what the price is, you may err and lose money in your trades. So I tell people, focus on the price. If it helps you, do the fundamentals too. I don't, and I, I don't actually need them to trade. You don't really need them to trade. Trading with power money is the easiest money for you to make in the market because profits add up quickly. Specifically when you're in stuff that moves. This is how it feels like some days I get in stuff and it's like, pff, they just go so quickly. It's like making money, like growing on trees. And it's really just because you're getting in with the momentum. You're getting in with the power money. And they move stuff. They move it quickly and you can book money fast. So let's talk about this this ARO. This, this, this was one of these things that even I, even though I raided the gap in the morning and I took this trade and I played this thing, when I went back and saw the money I made in the day and took this trade and looked at it and talked about it, I really, even myself, just, you know, it was such a great example of the power of institutional money. Almost, that I just, I had to do a talk on it. So we're going to talk about this today. ARO gap down a couple weeks ago in August, okay? This was in uh, August 23rd. ARO was 16 days down when a gap like here. Six, 16 days down, you count them. Now, there are many, many different people that trade gaps out there. People think that gaps fill themselves. That is incorrect. It does not work. It's wrong. It's the wrong way to trade gaps. People also do something called novice gaps. I don't do those. They go against the trend. And that's exactly what many, many people were trying to do. There were day traders, day traders, not professionals in this gap. I rated the gap. The gap rated, according to my rating system, to trade to short. I aggressively shorted this. I'm going to show you the trade. It was a thing of beauty. It rated per my system, so I did it. And it was 16 days down. Okay. So you think that something's too far, the answer is no. You think it's too far up, too far down, too extended up, too extended down, the answer is no. Trends continue themselves until they don't. That is the fact. Whoever said that the trend is your friend was not wrong. You do know how to, know how to have to read trends and how you're going to do that in gaps. But the fact is that this stock was in a downtrend. And the gap down here continued the trend, and it broke. 
So what happened here was a dump, an absolute dump. The last of the Mohicans, anybody that was long this stock, dumped it on the day and traders, traders kept trying to buy it. I know because I talked to people and they were losing their shirts and I was in it short in the beginning of the day and I'm going to show you the trade. So it was actually not only a dump of people that were still long the stock that should never have still been long it. It was actually people that took new positions in this short. In fact, this is what John was talking about. This is shorting is going on in here. It was shorting. Shorting is going on in here. Um, so people are asking some questions here. Let me just answer these before I move forward. Uh, fundamentals work in a different time frame, Ames is saying. Yeah, you uh, again, I'm not anti-fundamentals. Do it if you want to, but just don't ignore the price. That's the point I'm trying to make, okay? Randy's saying, do you focus more on gaps? I focus only on gaps. Gaps is the only strategy that I train. It's the one thing that tells me how to read the institutional money, and it, it's the one thing that has momentum behind it, and I have 100% conviction in trading them and nothing else, actually, okay? So anyways, here, let's look at this. The night before, at August 22nd, it closed here, 10.98. Now, it gaps down here. This is the next day. It opens at 9.37. So right here, it's almost a $2 gap, and it's 16 days down. Talk about conviction. And I shorted this thing, too. The current price as of yesterday, I didn't clip it from today, was like $7.84. So do you see here this idea of a gap fill is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, this is continuing, and actually this is new, new people in this, new people in this. Uh, you can tell, you can tell when you are in something, when you are in something long, when you are in something short, you can tell when you feel power because you get in the position and you don't even have to do anything and you're out money if you're in the right direction. That's, that's the way this thing really played out. It just fell off a cliff, okay? So this is how you tell where the power is, okay? So I want to just go over this here because if you don't understand how to read power, here's where people were trying to think that this was going to go higher and buy it. Why? The stock opened here, went green, had this one green bar here and went up 20 cents. Now, if you want to aggressively buy this, you would buy this here, but the stock went to the low of the day. But that's not how I looked at it. Okay. I'm going to show you the trade on a, on a one minute chart, Ames, because that's how I took the trade. I'm going to show you on a, on a one minute. Um, Jay is asking a good question about high frequency trading robots and basically machines. You know what? I did have something in here about this today, but um, I had so many other charts that I took it out of the slide presentation. If we have time, we can go over to the trading room um, when we're done here tonight and I can show you live some things about machines because I did have some things about that and I think that's what you're referring to. We can talk about the end if we have time. So anyways, here people were trying to buy this and it wasn't a buy, but I just want to show you here the stock. This is basically did a pop. It went boop, and that's it. So a couple of people that had shorted this in here pre-market, they made this little topping tail here. This is what this is. That topping tail is this green bar here and then the red one coming back down on top of it. It's a few people that did a pre-market short that covered. And guess what happened to everybody else? More selling, more dumping, more shorting came into the stock, and then I was in the trade. So this thing was so weak, so, 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 so weak. It got down $2, it ran down 16 days, and barely a pop is all it had to give. So this is momentum. Do you see this is institutional selling? It's institutional selling, and it's also shorting too. It's everything. Um, let me answer, let me get through some of this big pop-up. Papa's asking me some questions and some other people too. Let me, let me go through this ARO trade, and then we'll talk about some of your questions here in a little bit. Just hang with me here. I want to show you how this stock here, this is a one minute chart of ARO closed. I squished it together here so you could see. The stock never got a rally the whole day. What does that mean? That means that people shorted this and didn't barely cover any of their trades to the downside. It means it got continuous selling all day. It means if you try to buy this as a novice gap or a gap fill, and you tried to buy it anywhere in here, anywhere in here, any support area in here, anywhere you tried to buy it, you got stopped out. And that's what also continued it down. This bled. It absolutely bled into the close. It, did, it actually closed under the whole number. It closed under nine bucks. That's how weak it was. Rallied a teeny weeny bit the next day over nine and fell off a cliff here where, where it's at here now. Do you see it? 
Look at the moving averages. Everything's pointed. Talk about things going down fast. Here it is. Okay? There it is. So here was the play. Here was the play in ARL. Okay? This is a one minute chart. And, and you know, someone had asked about the five minute. I really trade in a one minute chart in the morning. You get better entries, you get better risk to reward, and the setups are clearer for me. And you know, honestly, it's aggressive. But these gaps do tend to set up right away in the beginning of the day between the first five to 15 minutes of the day. And if I'm not in something by 10 o'clock, then I'm probably not in something because then there's no directional momentum move that's gonna happen in the day. So I just do something else. The entry time is 9.36. The price was 9.33. The stop was over 9.42. It was a nine cent risk. And again, you can risk whatever amount of money you're comfortable with. I'm going to show some beginner examples. But if you took 5,000 shares, which you very well could have done, stock had plenty of volume in it, $450 was a risk. The exit wasn't even at the low of the day, but the proper exit was down into the drop there at 875 The total profit you could have made was $2,900. And the risk to reward is 6.4 times the amount was made in profit. This is to the downside. Again, quality, quality trades provide good risk to reward. And how do you get that? Because you're getting the momentum moves that are happening by the institutional selling and shorting that's going on in this stock, okay? So here's the beginning of the day. This is 9.30, 9.31, 9.32. A couple people covered. That's it. Shows that it's not going any higher. Rallies 20 cents. 9.33, 9.34, 9.35, 9.36. Boom, you're in. Stop over here, it breaks. And it just falls. Falls and drops off a cliff. And, you know, you're looking to get out somewhere into the room next reversal time, somewhere between 10 o'clock and 1030. I, I don't trade the afternoon. I'm usually flattened out of everything by no later than, you know, 11 o'clock. But the stock actually continued more in the day, and I think the low was like 859. Beautiful trade. And again, the risk to reward is over six times the amount that you risk. So if you're a beginner trader and you don't want to risk $450 and you're new to this, if you only risk $45, $45, you just took 500 shares. You, see, you know, you say to yourself, wait a minute, you know, this thing, I'm so new to this. Let me just figure this out and make sure this is really going to have the momentum in it here. It's really going to be a short. It looks like a short to me, but let me just make sure. I'm, all, I'm not going to risk that much, you say to yourself. $45, bucks, if you had risked that, you would have made $290. $290, just risking $45. And you put it in a stop, and if the trade fails, then, then, you, then you take the loss. You lose 45 bucks. Either way, whatever you risk, it doesn't matter. It's the idea that the risk to reward pays you 6.4. How do you get quality trades like this? The setups, the stops, the clarity in the entry, the risk to reward, the momentum, all of this. It's because of institutional money. Whichever direction you want to take it, whether it's bullish gaps or bearish gaps, it doesn't matter. But when you read the side of the power of money right, these are the kinds of quality trades you're going to get. And to be honest with you, ARO really was a swing trade and is actually a core trade. And I had clipped this last week on August 30th. The swing trade I had in here to get to this target, which it hadn't yet, the swing trade target was $8. Yesterday, it broke it. It got to it in basically a week. It got to the swing trade target in a week, like an absolute perfect, perfect thing. Count the number of days down. This is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 days down, and that includes a $2 gap. So if you had taken your position and taking it as a swing trade with 100% conviction because you rated the gap. You understand gaps, you understand power of money, you understand that this is a new opportunity here, opportunity to make money. You take the position, the stock breaks, people are trying to buy it as a novice gap, but you're with the institutions, you get the move. It goes to the swing trade target. We're within five cents and it actually broke, like I said yesterday. You could have made 14 times the amount in a basically a week. Okay, from the day of the gap, week and a half. So if you had risked four hundred fifty dollars, you could have made over six thousand dollars. Risk to reward is fourteen times. Again, you can't do this unless you know what to do. You have to understand gaps. You have to understand power money. But you got paid so easily here. All you did was take the trade and held it through. And look, it broke and broke and broke and broke and broke. Okay, trading with the trend, trading with the trend, and trading with the side of the power. And here's the core trade. Core trade target on this is six bucks. 
Now, I don't know when it's going to get here. A core trade is something that you're in for a longer term. It's not like a swing trade. Swing trades you're in for a week to two weeks. You're looking for a certain target, which this did it. But a core trade, you could be in for a month or longer. I don't even think it's going to take that, though, to get this to the $6 area. But do you see how if you don't understand how to read trends or gaps, when this gap happened, here it was, here I squished it together, you might have thought this was a buy. You might have thought this was a buy to support down in here in this double bottom, but the fact is it wasn't. How do I know? Because I understand gaps, and I have a system where I rate gaps, and I'm rating the gaps based on the price. It's all based on technical analysis. It's all based on price action reading. The price of the gap and how I'm reading it in the chart is telling me that this is a short, not a buy here in the stubble bottom, not a buy at support, and that the stock is going to keep breaking. The core trade on this is close. I mean, it's a dollar something away now after, after the last two days. And if it gets there, you will make 37 times the amount risk and profit when it hits that core target. You can make over 16 grand, and it's not that even that far away. This isn't even one of those dreamy, dreamy, dreamy targets you'd even have to wait a million years for. I mean, this is a very realistic core target on this ARO at six bucks. Okay, there, of course, there's other targets if you want to be in this for longer, but you know, you have to be realistic about some of these things too. And we're in a bullish market. You know, and look at this. We're in a bullish market and look at this thing. It's falling and falling and falling. So it's really power money that's making it. Power money sets the trend and continues it for larger moves. And that's the beautiful thing about it. You gotta ask yourself, you know, do you want to be different or do you want to be like everybody else? Do you want to have an edge or do you want to be like everybody else? This peacock is different. He looks amazing. He looks beautiful. He's not a normal bird. He doesn't look like everybody else. And by golly, he stands out. But he's got an edge. He's noticed wherever he goes, people look at him, people, you know, talk to him. He gets a lot of attention. If you want to be a good trader and make a lot of money, then you got to trade with an edge. And you're going to, that means you're going to have to be different. You're going to have to decide that you actually want to be with these institutions and that they're not against you. And neither are the machines. And I do want to talk about Jay's point about the machines too. The answer is yes. You want to have an edge. You want to be different. You don't want to be like anyone else. You want to read stuff and be with the institutions. Learn how to read the footprints of power because trading with that is going to help you make money and make money easily. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the only real way to trade, to be consistently profitable in the market. You know, there are so many things out there. So you could spend years looking at stuff, reading books and taking classes and doing all kinds of things. At the end of the day, you have got to get paid. And how are you going to do that? Momentum that comes as easy as you can possibly make it, that makes sense. And this happens by being with the institutional money. And luckily, what shows that is what happens in gaps. So remember, gain a vantage point that shows you opportunity, which happens in gaps because of the price. So learn how to earn money. You know, it's one thing, you'd be, it's great to have money. It's great if you have money. If you have money to trade, great. But if you don't know how to earn money, then the money that you have is going to go away quickly. The earning, the earning power, the knowing how to earn it, that's what really counts. Earning power is what counts. Knowing what to do, knowing how to earn it. If you know how to do what you have to do to make the money in the market, you can get up and duplicate it every single day. If you don't know how to do it, the money that you have is a fixed amount. It will be gone quickly. You need to learn what to do to earn it. Earning power is more important than having. This is, this is really important. If you want to trade for a living, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. All you need is a computer. It's one of these really nice careers where you can do it in the morning like I do. Trade for an hour or two and you're done. And you can do it from home. So I teach a class teaching people how to rate gaps and find gaps that are gaps to play like I just showed you today. It's called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day, the one that has the institutional power behind it. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock in the day, like I showed you in the examples, because that's important too. That's how you're getting the risk to reward. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And again, everything I do is based on technical analysis and everything is based on price action reading. That's what's telling me what's happening. Because at the end of the day, how do you tell when something like Facebook is going to be a buy? You read the price. Just like you knew when the IPO opened and it gapped down the next day after the IPO and fell off a cliff that nobody wanted it. 
So read fundamentals if you want to, but don't ignore the price. And the price is what's going to teach you how to trade. And this is how I do it. And you don't really need to read anything with fundamentals if you know how to read price extremely well and on an advanced level. So I do look at a lot of things in the morning, but after you learn how to do it, you can figure it out quickly. It doesn't take a lot of time. You rate the gap in the morning. You look at the price the stock is gapping at, and I go through a 26-point checklist. Again, this is a system. I'm a specialist in what I do. This is how to make money consistently in the market. You look for one strategy, and you become a specialist in it. And you become a specialist in reading institutional money to be with those people. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power in charts. It teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. Because if you're not in the right direction, you're not going to be able to get paid. You've got to get paid in the right direction. Um, Big Papa Money has asked me a question here quick. He trains the German futures at night. I've never traded German futures, Big Papa, so I don't know if this would work for that or not. To be honest with you, I can only say for 100% certainty what I'm doing now, which is in the U.S. stock market, trading stocks in the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange, but you certainly could investigate it, and you could email me if you would like to ask me questions about it, too. The class teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts by focusing on technical analysis and gaps, not thinking because something's extended it's going to come in or get filled or any of that. It's really reading what's happening in the price and the overall analysis. And it, the class teaches how to get conviction, conviction in your trading to take these trades, to do them, and to do them with the market as a source of wealth by trading with decided power for consistent profit. And here's my email, Big Papa, because you're saying you have to go. You can email me later. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It is a two- day full course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional get bearish gaps. Retakes are free. Once you take the class, you can retake it as many times as you need to. And if you're interested in the information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It is a complete system to use to trade. What do I mean by complete? The strategy, the rating system to determine the stock pick, the entries, the exits, the targets, analysis of support and resistance, understanding what's happening in the overall trend. Um, let, me, let me get through this here, and then I will answer a couple questions here that people are asking me. The Golden Gap course is going to be September 14th and 15th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Now, Three Crows is asking me how I scan for gaps. You can scan for gaps a million ways, three crows. Anybody that has a platform, every single platform in existence has a top 20 up and down gap list in the platform. You're paying for the platform. You're paying for the software. Use it. Use it. Everyone has it. A top 20 up and down list for both exchanges in there. That you can use because you're paying for it. You can also go to free websites like Yahoo Finance, NASDAQ.com. You can buy a scanner if you want to. There's so many things you can use. There's free things you can use without paying for anything. And you are paying for your platform if you already have a live trading account. So use that because they're going to be on there. But there's actually free sites you can use. So you really don't have to pay for anything, but you're going to find the gaps. And you're going to have to go through and then rate the gaps after you find the ones that are gapping. And then you go through and rate them. Bob is saying, how do you know when institutions are buying or selling in order to manipulate the price to their advantage? All right, let, let's talk about, give me one minute, Bob, because that is, well, I'm going to talk about that with the machine machine question um, that Jay had answered. I think of that, all my discussion on that's going to tie in together. So let me just finish this up this here. And then anybody else is, has any other questions before we start talk about the machine and the institutions. So learn how to train to improve the quality of your life. I also teach a class on trends. This class is going to be October 1st and 2nd. The cost of this class is $9.99. It's a course on how to read trends in stock charts. These are two separate classes, one on how to trade gaps and one on how to read trends. And I'm offering a special, both classes for one price. And it's half off the trends class. It's a savings of $499. The cost is $29.99 for both classes. So the gap class is $24.99. And both these classes together are savings of almost $500 if you want to do them in September and October. So educate yourself to become successful in the market with gaps. Thank you so much. And let me just bring up here 
my live charts. We do have we do have some time here. And I'm going to take this PowerPointer off. Just give me one minute, everybody, and then I'm going to bring up my live charts. And then I'm going to answer these questions here that Bob and Jay have. And anybody else that has any other questions while I'm bringing this up, go ahead and ask me. Let's wait one second here. <laughs> 